This is Showtime Sean Porter. This is Earl Smith Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I have a special guest on the phone with me. And he comes in the form of, as a professional boxing businessman of over 27 years, 25 years, so about 20, 27, right, Rick? Right, Rick? 27 years? 27 years. 27 years. You t it says on your website you work with 36 uh, current champions, uh, many former champions, number one contenders. You've been in the boxing business longer than I've been alive, so it's, it's safe to say that you know a thing or two about the fight game. Um, Rick, are you, Rick Glazer, great to have you on True School Sports. Um, I'm glad, glad to be here. Um, uh, um, I hope this is the right kind of thing that we can do because uh, I, you know, I like your show, and uh, guess what? Um, I think I can add something to it on a regular basis. I, I really appreciate that, man. Um, I get a lot of insight from your Facebook posts. Um, and just a lot, a lot of things you say, a, a lot of things you wind up saying before it happens wind up being true. Like I, I find it very fascinating. So you you got your ear really in tune with what's going on behind the scenes in boxing. Um, you want to get, before, before, before we get into what's going on in the fight game right now, you want to give the people like just, you know, your background in the fight game and just, uh, who you've worked with, where you've been and just all that good stuff. The website's a little old. I have updated a long time because I've had cancer for the last two years. I, before that, I was, you know, I just didn't upgrade it. But uh, I've actually worked for 41 uh, world champs, city world champs. I mean, when they were champions, uh, number one contenders, when they were number one contenders. Uh, also, uh, world title challengers and notable fighters. Um, and uh, I've been, you know, it'll be 28 years in January. I've been boxing full time. Um, I'm an international agent, broker, consultant, and matchmaker. And I fulfill many white collar roles of boxing. I broker deals on a daily basis. Uh, people consult with me. My clients are mostly promoters on TV uh, around the world, TV networks around the world, uh, casinos worldwide, uh, TV production companies that shoot boxing, uh, media agencies uh, like public relations firms, and also like. Uh, regular like news agencies that put out news about boxing. And um, I perform all the different function brokering deals, making matches, supply and sparring partners, brokering foreign television rights, and uh, also sponsorship deals. And um, I love it. I, do, I work 24 7, 365 days a year. My joke is I sleep in between phone calls. <laughs> um, I, my business is worldwide. Like, um, It'll, it'll, it picks up in a little while, about an hour, hour and a half, and I'll go to like, uh, I don't know, about 2 o'clock in the morning, sleep till like 4.30, you know, see if there's any uh, important calls I have to return. Now, funny thing, in my business, Thursday night and Friday, on Thursday late afternoon, Friday night, and, 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 and I'm sorry, Thursday night and, and Friday, all day are my slowest days. Uh, Sunday night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's, it's hectic. And the reason why it's slow is because people either either in the business or you're on their way to the fights, mm -hmm. okay, where they're traveling on uh, Thursday, uh, they have a weigh-in on Friday, and then Saturday's the fight, so they're going to their press conference for the fight or whatever. And, and if they don't have a fight that weekend, they can only play golf on Fridays. So it, Fridays is so dead. I mean, I, it's a funny thing. Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I'm getting 400 calls and emails a day. That's insane. And then on Thursday, it slows down to 100, and Friday, I don't get 40 calls or any emails. I mean, it's like, it's almost like at a standstill. You know, my, my, my wife's amazed by that. My wife is joking with me, maybe you need a part time job just on Fridays. So, <laughs> um, she was but it just, it, it's, it's unbelievable. I, on Fridays, I won't get called for hours at a time. But on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, I get a call, you know, in a rapid, in a rapid concession. Yeah. And um, I, it's the weirdest thing. But it, I, it's, it's explainable anyway. So I know why it happens. And, you know, just the way, the way the business is. You know, nobody wants to talk to Rick Glazer when they're trying to shoot golf or they're trying to play around the golf on a Friday. And, um, you know, if they've already had the fights, you know, you know, then then they'll call me on Sunday night or Monday morning and say, "Hey, this guy won. He's going to fight again in two months. I need I need a quality guy to fight him for such and such a team." 
TV network. That's how my business works, basically. Okay. So it's safe to say you have your hand. You you wear a lot of different hats in the, in, in the boxing world. Yeah, the only thing I don't do is I don't manage fighters. I'm not a manager. Um, I, have, I represented fighters as their agent. I've got several players that right now I represent as their agent, but I don't manage fighters. It, it's too time consuming. And, I, and this is what I say. Why? Well, I'm an agent for a fighter. I take 10% from the fighter, right? Yeah. If I was a manager, managers get between 25 and 33 and a third percent, right? I can't be any smarter for 25 to 33 and a third percent than I am for 10 percent. So <laughs> why would I take 25 to 33 percent from a fighter? Yeah. I can't be any smarter. So it doesn't make any sense to me. So I just, I let the fighter himself manage and I, I, rep, I do represent now four, currently four fighters. Okay, uh, can you name them by any chance? Uh, the only one of note right now is uh, Dylan Carmick from Toronto. He just upset um, highly rated uh, undefeated Simon King. who was 15 and all in front of 80 and 100 people in Quebec City on October the 6th. Okay. He went from number 130 with one right, straight right hand. Back to uh, Simon King dead in the fourth round. He went from number 133 in the box rep ratings to number 28 with one punch. And in the meantime, also captured the, captured the WBA, NBA, North American title, which will get him a rating in the WBA. And he won the WBC Francophone title, mm -hmm. which doesn't mean anything in America, but <laughs> it's for all the French speaking um, countries around the world. And as we, as you well know, in Quebec, they, you know, Quebec, they speak French. That's the number one language. Number two is English. Number three is Italian. Yeah. So, um, so basically speaking, as in like in, in any French speaking country, uh, would be like Haiti, would be like France. Um, you know, the French speaking colonies around the world. Um, it may mean something, it'll get you a rating in the WBC in the top um, 25 normally. So, um, you know, was, you know, the other guys are just up and coming guys. You know, the world has our own yet, maybe they will never, but in the meantime, they ask me to help them out. So I'm gladly helping them out. Okay.